Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy. I'll be back again. And today, I wanted to talk about the story of the of the kid named Robert Sandifier. His nickname was Yummy because as a, as a young kid, he he loved cookies and sweets. And it's crazy. His whole story is just crazy. He was born in Chicago, Illinois, um, March of 1983. And the first time I heard of him was in a Tupac interview when he was in prison because he he had him in a picture in the background. And ever since then, I was. I was like, who, who is that kid that, that he got in the background? And and even when Tupac got out, like that's when he started, he shot him out in the song. So like ever since then, I like I just been doing my research and learning about him. But yeah, he was he was born in a poverty stricken environment because in the eighties and nineties, that's when the whole drug trade and the whole guns trade started being sent to America. And you already know if you put drugs and guns in a low income area, like you already know what's gonna happen. So he was just born into turmoil. He was he was born he was like one of one of many children and his his dad was gone out the picture because he was locked up for for a felony gun charge so his mom was left to raise all the kids on her own and so she she came from a poverty stricken background herself so she did with the best that she could but she ended up being like a prostitute and being on drugs so child protective services ended up getting him and his siblings at an early age and taking them to live with his grandma so then when he was living with his grandma that's when it was him robert and 19 other kids so the grandma even though he got transferred to the grandma he she couldn't take care of all the kids like like see what they was doing the whole time so at age eight that's when he started getting his, his own feel for the streets he started being in the streets just, just doing what he knew just, just robbing kids his age beating up kids taking taking money and whatever else he could take from them and even as a little kid, he had a reputation in the streets. And the, by the time he turned nine or 10, the police, like they noticed that the kids wasn't doing good there either. So they ended up taking the kids and putting them in child protective services. And not, not shortly after that, that's when he ended up running away from there. And like from age nine to 10, it was kind of hard to pinpoint where he was actually living at at that time but at that time he ended up meeting some older kids in the gang called black disciples nicknamed bds he ended up meeting older kids so he just since since he didn't have a proper background he was just looking for anybody to like to like prove himself to so the older kids knew that he was out there just doing crazy stuff so they started sending him on missions like robbing people shooting people and unfortunately in the late August of 94, they, they actually sent him to go kill a rival gang member. And he actually, at this point, he had over 23 felonies. He was known to even steal cars and drive them, even though he was only 4'6 and under 400 pounds. He was known to beat up older kids and everything. Like, he wasn't scared, even though he was small. And even then, the police got word of him. They, was, they took him in, but the, he, the police said he was too young to be with the older kids. And, and the kids his own age, they didn't want him with him too. So the August, late, late August of 94, they ended up sending him on a mission. He shot down the block and ended up killing 14 year old Shavon Dean. She was an innocent, innocent bystander. Other people got hit that day, but she was the one that got killed by him. So when she got killed, this, this garnered national attention. Like everybody knew about this story at this point. And it was a manhunt ensued for for Robert. So at this point, he got word that like everybody was looking for him. So he was he was on a run. It was it was rumored that he actually saw a, a police car in his neighborhood. And so when he saw the police car, he actually ran to the neighbor's porch and was talking to the neighbor like, yo, can you call my grandma? Please call my grandma. I just need to talk to my grandma. Cause that was the that was the only person that he trusted at the time. So the, the neighbor was like, okay, let me get my phone. So as she was getting his her phone, it was it was two teenagers in the BDs, a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old named Craig and Derek Hardaway. They end up seeing Robert on the porch at the neighbor. So they end up taking him like, yo, you, you need to get out of town. It's too hot. Too many police looking for you right now. We got a car already set for you to go. So he, Robert trusted the brothers and they end up taking him to a, a one-way street railroad, a railroad intersection told him to get on his knees and they shot him twice in the back of the head because they were scared that he was going to snitch on the whole gang. So it's just a sad story. He was only 11 years old. He died September 
first 94, it, it striked national news that a kid so young could do all of that and then get killed himself. And it's just it's just tragic all around that these stories happen day in and day out that we really don't know about. And at his funeral, he he got over 400 people to attend his funeral by friends and family. It was just so sad. And even sadder than that, then the innocent 14-year-old girl, Siobhan Dean, she ended up losing her life on some symptoms. And I actually watched an interview of her mother. It was so sad. She was just talking about how her daughter just wanted, because she was going to high school that year. Her daughter just wanted to go to high school and just be the best she could. And she started crying in an interview. And it just made me tear up a little bit just because all this stuff just started over poverty-stricken situations, man. Just Yeah, Robert Satterfield, he was only 11 years old when he died. What y'all think about this? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to your boy. Be in the mouth.